guys, in this video I'm going to be reading you my personal Tinder messages and I'm also going to be critiquing the bios, photos and the best and worst flirting styles and techniques for picking up women on Tinder. I'm sure you guys are surprised that I have a Tinder but I created one sort of as a social experiment and since I'm a dating coach and I have to see what it's like on there so I can best advise my clients. So as a disclaimer, I currently live in the Sequoias, so most of these profiles are lumberjacks and contractors and people who are country folk, however we still have a mix of people who are from the cities nearby, from Fresno. And uh, different, all types of personalities to get a good Tinder sample. Let's get started. Alright, so see, here are the, some of the buyers that I've gone through and saved to give a different uh, sampling of like what people say on their bios. So, Brandon, don't be afraid to slide over on the bench seat and get real comfortable when I pick you up. And I love me some titties. Obviously very forward, but he's probably just looking for hookups on here. Russian from Siberia. Lost in LA. I don't like vodka. On a scale from 1 to 10, you're a 9 and I'm the one you need. Kind of a cheesy, corny pickup line. May work on some girls, but most girls will probably swipe left. Puerto Rican, life is good, looking for the love of my life. It's a little bit intense for a bio and it might scare some people away. I think it's okay to look for the love of your life, but to claim it and be expecting it right away kind of puts pressure on the person reading your bio. I'm a simple guy living a simple life. I'm friendly, outgoing, adventurous, and funny. I'm into science and history. You'll never be bored. I will always tell you random facts that I know. Sounds a little bit cookie cutter. Okay, so we have a lot of these that I saw, kind of just listing uh, labels. Computer engineer. Father. Atheist. Fiscal conservative. Social moderate. Just kind of weird. It's just not, it's not really organic and flowy. It's kind of just like you're shopping and it's like a grocery list. Um, but if he has good photos, someone will swipe right. Again, labels. Art, street art, anime, gym, coffee. Meh. Just a country boy trying to catch a vibe and smoke you out. Where are the big girls at? Bubba. Sex is always cool, but I need great sex and great personality. Gamers, sports, and relaxing. Keep me company. He might get some girls who are looking to have some hookups, if he has good photos. Single daddy, aspiring DILF, decided 2021 was the year to say F a dad bod. They call me Hulk because I like to smash. If you don't like my face, you won't like my personality either. Very pessimistic. So one thing I noticed with the bios is a lot of guys put these very kind of negative Obviously, a lot of people have weird, negative, awkward experiences on here. People don't reply. And so it's okay to be frustrated with that, but to put that in your bio and kind of put that negative, pessimistic vibe isn't really attractive if you're trying to get women to swipe right. Making an honest attempt at lowering my walls and connecting more genuinely with people. Yes, I realize this is Tinder. I make art, pet cats, watch anime. Uh, I like the first part. I like when people show that they're being genuine. Um, it gets kind of awkward at the bottom, but 
not too bad. Speaking of cats, we have Tyler, who wrote this lovely compliment. And then you swipe right and you see this cat photo. Something about a cat just staring at you like that makes you want to swipe left. So I'm not showing photos on here out of respect to people who want to have their privacy that are on there. However, one thing I noticed about photos, um, I was very surprised to see people taking photos in very dirty rooms with laundry on the floor, just kind of like very unattractive, you know, um, it's really not that hard to take photos where you don't have a big mess, it looks really bad. Um, another thing is if you're on there and you're taking photos and you have sunglasses on or you have a hat on, you're hiding your face in every photo, um, it's clearly showing you're not comfortable with how you look, um, it doesn't look like you have confidence and it's just not good. So you either have to find some confidence, take some good photos, or probably a dating app is not the best way for you to meet people because it is the more superficial, judgmental based on your looks way since people are first going to look at your photos and then get to know your personality. So might try some other ways to meet people. A lot of guys here seem to have photos with pets, like lots and lots of pet photos, um, just a little bit too much. Your cat and your dog that you really like, but just don't go overboard with your pet photos. Also photos where guys are with babies or um, girls and uh, just, it's just, if you're single, you're single. You don't need to kind of pose with photos with your ex-girlfriends. Uh, it's not a good look. All right, let's read my messages. Lala, heart base. Hi, how's it going? Good, and you? Pretty good, just hanging out. Cool, what you up to? Just chilling, you? About to wash my clothes, lol. That's exciting. I hate folding though, lol. Are you looking for a woman on here to help you with that? F, that'd be helpful. Kyle. Hi. What up? Hi. Not much. You? There's so many messages on here that get left like that, so uh, if you're someone who never gets replies, happens to everyone. Good evening. Good evening. LOL. What are you up to? Chilling by my fireplace. You? Fireplace? It's not that cold tonight. What town are you in? I'm just relaxing at the moment. Watch YouTube. Nice. I love YouTube. So a lot of these conversations are just really like very cookie cutter. Um, honestly, if you don't show something interesting or unique or create some chemistry in the first few messages, you just it becomes really boring and it's really hard. For it to go anywhere and a lot of people like kind of just play it safe and they just have these like cookie cutter conversations but it's just as dating apps you know they're awkward uh brandon hi gorgeous hello handsome how are you beautiful wonderful and you it's good could be better good morning beautiful repeating himself Good morning, handsome. Good morning, beautiful. And do you have a Snapchat, beautiful? Next. Dima. Hi, you very cute. Thank you very much. Where you live, let me take you for a date. Where do you want to take me? To dance classes. We gonna learn dance Roomba in one hour. Do we have to dance with masks on? No, it's dance with kisses. But I don't know if I want to kiss you yet. That's why we are going to dance Roomba. You will have to kiss me while you are leaning on my arm. Otherwise it's going to be tango. 
rails. What's up, Ma? Yes, you will address me as Mommy. Yeah, that's what you like. Alright, this guy. He starts with his life story. Hi, how are you? A little about me. I was born in London and moved here when I was three. And I lived in California since I moved around my life in June. I moved around a lot, but I graduated. I recently sold my home. I removed mine. Uh, I could send you some pictures given I removed mine after being matched with an employee in my company. Let's test. So this guy didn't have any photos of himself, it was just like photos of his cars and you know like fancy stuff. Oh, is that why you don't have pictures on here? Yeah, where are you? I'm in the Sequoias. You can send me your pics here. Come to Fresno. Okay, I'll be there in a jiffy. Ha, let's plan it, silly. Why on earth would I want to go to Fresno? Okay, come to Beverly Hills. I mean, you're in the sequoias, lol. I don't even know what you look like. Let's text. Hello, beautiful. I saw your pictures. You're so attractive. Well, I love them. I don't know if you have ever had a sugar daddy before. Believe it or not, I haven't. But I'm here looking for a sugar baby, and I will be paying your weekly allowance, which is 3500 no dudes or sex. I only need who will keep my company. I thought people only looked for sugar babies on seeking arrangement. Am I on the right app? No reply. Grant. Oh, this guy was funny. Damn. Hi. Hey, what's up? Chillin', you? Oh, cool, cool. I'm here at work. What brings you on here? Just exploring and looking to meet new people. You? Oh, cool. Same here. So, what are you looking for exactly? Friends? Relationship? Uh, friends with benefits? Not sure. Just exploring. You? Oh, cool. I'm kind of looking for a friend with benefits and see where it goes. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm guessing you're not down, lol. Do you normally expect strangers to agree to sex off the bat? I'm not saying we're going to have sex right off the bat, lol. Just something I'm looking to work up to. So you want to use someone's body physically and make sure there is no emotional connection involved. No, not at all. I'm open to it becoming a relationship. Oh, I see. Yeah, lol. I'm a very sexual person, so I put it out there. Isn't everyone a sexual person? IDK, lol. I'm talking more than normal, lol. Yeah, you must be used to smashing more than talking. Why do you say that? Because you said you're talking more than normal and your bio says you are the Hulk and like to smash. Yeah, I get a lot. And the bio is just a joke. That's a little TMI. Just being honest. Are you always honest? Yes, lol. Have you ever cheated on a girl? No, I haven't. I'm very loyal when I'm with someone. Okay, so you smash and get it out of your system and then you commit when you're ready. In a way, I don't sleep around. So if we were dating, would you agree to wear a chastity device to help me feel safer? <laughs> I like trolling right here. I've never cheated and never will, but I would just to prove it to you. That's so sweet. LOL. <laughs> Oliver. It is Rico Suave at your service. Hola. What's your zodiac sign, Scarlett? Ah, you speak my language, Rico Suave. I'm a Libra, you? Haha, ha. I'm a Virgo. How's the compatibility? I'm sorry, it's not going to work. Goodbye. I don't like Virgos or Capricorns. It was great while it lasted. I'm keeping the puppy. What's your sign? 
Libra. Instant karma, no reply. Wow, you are gorgeous. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Good, thanks. Do, do, do. Hey, good afternoon. How how has your day been? Great, and you? Doing good, just been chilling. How's your week been? Anything interesting happen? Just relaxing in nature. I'm in the squares now. Where do you live? I'm in Vasily. What about you? Springville. Never been there. How far away is that? I think it's Norway. Oh, that's not bad. How's the mountains? It's good. Going to the gym, going on hikes. Hmm, I like, when is the last time you've been on one? Obviously, that was leading questions. I like motorcycles. Then he goes, oh, I know. I mean, um... It's just too, it's too cookie cutter for me. Jason, hey, hi, what are you doing on Tinder? Just looking, lol, you, I think I was looking for you, TDH. That's romantic, you know, if I was really into it, I would reply. So anyways, so those are my Tinder messages. Um, obviously in the dating app world, Tinder is kind of more the one known for hookups. However, there's all types of people on there. Um, the majority of people are, you know, they know the context of Tinder, which is just hooking up, meeting up, friends with benefits. However, there's quite a few bios on there and people who are looking for the real thing, looking for serious things, which probably, if you're going to go the dating app route, it's probably better to try like Hinge or Bumble. Um, you know, one of those, or eHarmony, OkCupid, whatever. Um, however, so here's the pros and cons about dating apps. So dating apps, what I think they can be useful for is if you are coming out of a relationship and, you know, just to kind of play around with it, it does psychologically give you the idea and the impression that there's so many people out there, right? So it could be nice to have a profile to just show yourself and kind of have that intention, like, you know, you're out in the dating world and being on a dating app like that, it kind of, it's fun, it's playful, you know, you can chat with people. Um, if, you, if you get on there and you don't have expectations of, you know, meeting your soulmate or whatever, it can be a fun diversionary sort of like getting yourself out there, seeing the variety of people out there is a tactic. What isn't so great about dating apps is, of course, they're more superficial. So a lot of the times when people meet in person and they fall in love in person, they are going off of energy and connection and things that make you, you know, make people look more attractive physically. With dating apps, it's pictures that are usually not very representative of how people look in real life. I think almost every dating app profile, the person looks different for better or for worse. So it's just it's just really awkward and there's this expectation on dating apps. It, it's kind of like you're going to a supermarket. It's well, that's why a lot of people don't like it. It's kind of like artificial. Like you're like you're just shopping for, you know, a can of tomato sauce. It's no there's no spice in it. There's no that genuine, you know, serendipitous, you know, the universe is bringing you here. It's a little bit forced, a little bit like you're trying. Which is why I think you gotta take dating apps like that with a grain of salt. I think the best way to meet people is to get over your lack of approach confidence and just be direct. Meet people where you go, meet people where the energy is naturally aligning you, speak up, express yourself. That's how people really wanna be, really wanna meet, but they let their nerves get the best of them. And so you have to work on your in-person confidence if we're being honest with ourselves. However, dating apps are fun, as I mentioned, so enjoy them. I hope you liked this video and seeing my female perspective of how male profile looks and how you can improve your profile on there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.